Hello, welcome to Embracing Mattress. My name is Renee. This is going to be a weekly love reading for the sign of Pisces. This will be for the week of April 12th. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope that you're staying safe as everything is going on out here in the world. Sending love to all of you. Um, just please take uh, this message um, as it is, okay? Don't try to make it yours if it's not. Um, I also want to thank you guys uh, for... Uh, for everything um, thank you to everyone that's like shared subscribed um, and hit the notification bell if you have not uh, that'll let you know when I'm here um, I appreciate you thank you to everyone that's donated to um, my channel thank you to the people that have gotten uh, personal readings from me as well I do appreciate you um, if you want a personal reading the information is in the box below I know that everyone is suffering from a lot right now also, if you um, are having financial difficulties, please just still hit me up, okay? We, we should be able to uh, figure something out, the two of us, all right? Um, so, um, like I said, you want to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Uh, know that the energy here could be masculine or feminine. Know that this could be about the person you're thinking of, yourself, or your cross-watcher. Also, um, if you're not familiar with your birth chart, you can pull that. The link is on my uh, page uh, on my website. That way that you'll know um, if you do have Pisces, if you're a cross watcher, you could have Pisces in your chart or, or any other sign that'll help you out with these readings if it's not resonating, okay? So let's get into what's going on uh, right now for you, Pisces. All right, you have Green Tara. Start delegating, ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything yourself. This is spirit talking to you, all right? And Green Tara. Now... You could be the type of person that does not like to ask for help. And right now, what's going on in the world, you may need help. Okay? We all do. And it's okay. All right? That you can't do everything yourself. Um, there could be something mis mentally, physically, um, you know, something going on that you just cannot handle alone. It could be that you, you could be having issues I need to speak to someone. It's okay to do that. If you don't want to speak to an outside person, go within, speak to spirit, speak to God, the universe, whomever it is that you do pray to uh, for assistance. Okay. But what I am seeing right now is that, you know, you can have people around you. You could be the one that is always doing for other people. You could be the one that's the anchor, the one that's holding everyone else down. And at this time, you also need someone that's going to hold you down. Right. So, you know, it's okay to ask and say, hey, you know what? I just can't do it all the time. I just, right now, I just can't. I'm tired. I need help. It's all right, okay? That's what Spirit is telling you. Um, and, and for your children, too. You know, if you have children, start delegating to your children. Your children would be happy to help you, okay? Um, especially in times like this. You know, they see everything parents are going through. They see what's going on. Everybody's trying to keep you safe. You know, give them something that they can do to make them step up, to make them feel more valuable and everything in the household. To, to For them to have a sense of respect, um, responsibility, and for them to feel like they're contributing to everything that's going on right now, okay? Your next card is Maeve. Cycles and Rhythms. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions, okay? So when I see this card from my Pisces women, you know, you could be really stressed out right now. You could be having very heavy menstrual periods uh, like endometriosis, fibroids, tumors, stuff of that nature. Okay, you want to go and you want to make sure that you're okay, all right? You could be uh, moody one minute. You could be up one minute, down the next you know, with everything that's going on around us and everything that you have to hold into place, okay, as a woman, okay, just speaking to my women right now, you know, you could you could be at a place, like I said, where you're depleted and need to ask for help um, and your body is falling into suit because, yeah, if you're tired, your body's tired, your body could be breaking down right now, you could be going through some, th some things where you just don't have the energy, all right, to do the things that you would normally do and you have to be mindful that it's okay, all right, to reach out and get some assistance right now, all right? For my men, you could be going through something where you uh, are really tapping into your your uh, 
feminine side, okay? It may be something that you don't like to do, okay? But it is also a cycle for you. Your energy levels, your emotions, okay? Could be some things going on right now where it's triggering your emotions and you may not like it. Spirit is asking you to allow those things to come up, to allow them to, to be a part of who you are right now. And if there's things there that you need to heal, you want to process them. You want to get through them, okay? Be, find what you can be grateful out of the situation. Have a sense of gratitude uh, to the universe. Uh, pull whatever lessons are coming from this situation that you're having to heal and drop it. Move it forward, okay? That's what you're being called to do. Last card here, Guinevere, true love. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Okay, so you could have somebody on your mind that could be a twin flame or a soulmate. Okay, this person could be on your mind or this person could be coming to you. Um, this could be why you're in your emotions. Okay, um, you know, a lot of times if we're in a situation where we feel like we... Um, we have uh, something that's true, okay? And if this person is not either reciprocating the love the way that you need them to, you know, you need to maybe let them know that they're not doing something that you need them to do, okay? Um, again, whether you're male or feminine, uh, excuse me, male or female, if you're not getting the things on the sense that you would need, your 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 whole body is going to be thrown off. Your thought pattern, you know, your your moods, you know, um, you'll be up down. That would be why, you know, you would have the cycles and rhythms. But for the people that are not currently in a relationship or in some sort of connection uh, with someone that they see as a true love, you know, this person could be t coming towards you. Now, let's see what's going on here. Oh. The tower card and the king of pentacles okay now i see this one of two ways you could be in your king of Pent pentacles stance and you could be going through a tower moment right now this could be something that is abrupt something um maybe you found out something maybe something happened you know, maybe you lost a job, maybe you lost a friend, a family member, something of that nature. Um, maybe um, your relationship is in jeopardy. Um, could be something going on on that nature, okay? Of that nature. That's one scenario. Or there could be some sort of foundation that's falling uh, to be rebuilt um, that will bring you into this king of pentacles status okay that could be for some as well it could be that maybe some changes have to be made and maybe these are the things that you knew that you have to do in order um, to bring yourself to, to another place okay now this is something that's not expected all right this is something when i see this it could be that you know something that you were blind to something that you were in denial of okay but you know, I don't always see the tower card as something bad, okay? But when it does happen, it usually catapults us to some sort of new, okay? And with the King of Pentacles, it could be, like I said, a change of jobs. You know, maybe someone's lost their job, something of that nature to where, you know, something else is going to be coming through. You know what? I wasn't going to clarify this, but I want to because I want to see... We could figure out what's going on here. The Tower and the King of Pentacles. Let's see if we can get some lead way. The Tower and the King of Pentacles, please. Okay, we have a flipper. Oh, Five of Wands. Okay. So this is you coming out of a relationship that was really, really, really uh, stressing you out. You know, some bickering, some fighting, some fussing. Um, you guys weren't getting along. Um, this person, um, either you have a true love on your mind or this person was considered to, to be that person for you. Okay. So yes, here you are in your king of pentacles, whether you're male or female, this is you. Okay. Coming out of this. Um 
where you had this uh, very tumultuous um, union with someone else. That's what I'm seeing. For some of you, this could be you coming out of a relationship and moving towards a King of Pentacles individual. But when you move towards this individual, there still will be some conflict that you will have to go through. So, you know, you guys want to take that how you re how it resonates with you. You know, some hard times ahead. Somebody also, somebody here could be very, very stubborn. And I could see, you know, that this could be the, the King of Pentacles here. Could be very, very stubborn. And that could be where... Um, where someone is having this. Now, if this is a tower moment based on someone's mindset, this this person here that could be very stubborn, you know, they're going to have hard times because they're seeing things just from their perspective and not from someone else's. So that could be for some of you. Now, the healing stone that you need to have around you right now is yellow jasper. It says control issues. Absolutely. This is what we're just talking about. This person that's stubborn, right? Utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. Now, this person could be controlling because they don't want other people to have the upper hand on them. Um, but yeah, seems like someone needs to relinquish a little bit of control here. Um, and if this is you or your cross-watcher or your person you're thinking of, you know, Delegating, uh, paying attention to how you're feeling inside, internally, mentally, physically, emotionally, okay, regarding this relationship. All right, Pisces, that's been your message for the week. Uh, please like, share, subscribe if you'd like a personal reading. Um, the information is down below. Thank you to everyone. You guys stay safe.